We've long rated the Ford Escape SUV highly against its rivals, despite modest sales. Yet even though it stacks up well against the Mazda CX-5, Hyundai Tucson and Nissan X-Trail, the Ford just hasn't resonated with buyers. All the more reason to make the Escape the latest car to undergo our range review, where we run you through each variant. Here we have the entry-level Ambiente in front-wheel drive, mid-range trend with all-wheel drive, and the flagship Titanium, powered by a diesel engine. Let's kick things off with the Ambiente, priced here at $29,990 before on-road costs when fitted with an automatic. Headline features are this 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, proper satellite navigation and digital radio. Now, you only get cloth seats, but you do get nice features like seven airbags, reversing camera, push-button start, cruise control and Ford's emergency assist system that dials triple zero if you're in an accident. The Ambiente's cabin looks distinctive, though it lacks the elegance of the new Mazda CX-5 and some of the trim quality is average. The back seats have plenty of room for two adults or three kids and they also recline. Plus you get amenities like rear air vents and a 12 volt socket, an isofix point for your child seats and a flip down centre armrest. The seats fold 60-40 to liberate storage room, though with all five seats in use you only have a below par 406 litres of storage. There's also no full size spare wheel. The Ambiente has a 1.5 litre turbo petrol engine with 134 kilowatts of power and 240 newton metres of torque when matched to the six speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters. That's pretty good for a medium SUV at base level, with the turbo adding noticeable low down oomph to maximise rolling response. Our car has a front wheel drive set up, but for an extra $3,000 you can fit all wheel drive. Climbing up to the trend brings 18-inch alloys, roof rails, auto headlights and rain-sensing wipers. Our tester has a 2-litre turbo petrol engine with a potent 178 kilowatts of power and 345 newton metres of torque. And that blows away the Volkswagen Tiguan 162 TSI and shades the Subaru Forester XT. This engine comes with on-demand all-wheel drive suited to gravel trails or the odd snow run. Look, at least it offers the promise of adventure. The drivetrain also offers hot hatch rivaling performance in a straight line, despite the higher than average curb weight. For those not all that interested in top line performance, you can get the trend with the 1.5 litre engine and front wheel drive for $3,000 less. Additionally, you can get a turbo diesel, to be detailed in a moment, for two and a half grand more. Meanwhile, the flagship Titanium that kicks off at 45k adds heated leather seats, a sunroof, a better audio system, HID headlights and a proximity key. The big spec letdown is the lack of standard active safety tech. However, both the Trend and the Titanium can be optioned with a $1300 pack that brings features like AEB, adaptive cruise control and blind spot monitoring. So at least you have the choice. Our Titanium tester has a turbo diesel engine with 400 newton metres of torque. Better suited to towing or long highway stints, the 178 kilowatt petrol is also available. Unlike the petrols, the diesel comes fitted with a six-speed power shift dual clutch automatic transmission with paddle shifters designed to minimise fuel use. Where the Escape really impresses is its European driving character, with precise steering, excellent handling and a sporty nature that doesn't impact ride comfort, though the low profile tyres on the Titanium do take the edge off. So that's a quick look at the Ford Escape, which in my opinion deserves to sell better than it does. 
It's not the most capacious, and it's a little rich of Ford to sting you extra for all the active safety tech, but it's beautiful to drive, and its infotainment is excellent. It's also kind of rare. The pick for us is the trend with the bigger 2-litre petrol engine and all-wheel drive, which, for 35990 represents good value. If you like a sporty drive and Euro design, and don't mind losing a few litres of cargo space, the Ford is definitely worth shortlisting.